So, while we've been campaigning our Formula Drift car, we've also been touring our FD3S show car. And as we roll into 2019 SEMA, it was time for some updates. I've always been a fan of the FD, and I think this BN Sports body kit was very cool. And the wing that came on it obviously had its own unique style. Whether you loved it or hated it, that big swan neck, um, big wing, definitely unique. Um, I decided it was time to freshen the look, and the first thing I wanted to work on was getting this wing off. I didn't want to damage the wing, I didn't want to damage the car, took my time, took it off as one big chunk, basically storing it uh, upstairs at KMR for further notice. But a friend brought by an alternative wing, and since we're restyling for SEMA, it's time to take it off, mock some stuff up, play around with different ideas. Once we got the wing off, I mean, it looked pretty cool. We've got a little bit of damage to our wrap, so we're going to have to clean that up. Um, and uh, we've also been working on wiring, interior, everything. But I think it looks pretty good without a wing. Maybe just a duck bill. So there we are. That's uh, kind of what instigated this whole wing operation, a buddy basically it uh, traded me an old R Magic FD wing. It wasn't working out on his car, uh, on my car. I felt like it looked pretty good. So here's our first test fit. Um, JDM all the way. Not sure if these wings are available anymore. So got this one used and it's pretty rough around the edges. About five layers of paint and really just making sure that it fits and it's reasonable. Now I got plans for this thing. We're not just putting this wing on OE status. My car's got to have a, a look I'm going for, but either way, this also turned into a little bit of a fiberglass restoration project. So our, our Night Sports wing had a lot of foam tape on the bottom, uh, a lot of miscellaneous holes, uh, lots of paint runs, way too many layers of paint. So we started sanding it down, and I got all of the foam and tape and glue off the bottom, exposing some holes and areas that needed patchwork on the top side. We found some cracks, um, spider cracks, small holes, people drilling, rubbing away things, and even some larger cracks as we started to uh, you know, sand down in through the multiple layers of paint. So we want this to not only look good, but also function well when we, we drive this car around. So I ended up uh, doing some fiberglass repair, and I ground out all of the cracks. You don't want to just patch on top, so the spider cracks, we chased the spiders. Um, the holes, we cleaned them out, got down to where we have fresh fiberglass that's repairable, and the main big cracks... We ground them out exposing raw material where we can actually do a proper patch. Um, also wiped everything down with acetone and everything's been also sanded fairly well. So patching with resin, fiberglass, and in some areas using Bondo glass filler. Not just regular Bondo, but the Bondo that actually has fiberglass in it. It's a little harder to work with. But I find this stuff really works well on fiberglass projects. That's what it's meant for. So we got all of that roughed in. Um, our shape starting to come together. Most of the repairs looking hey, good. And the team stopped What do you think? By. Is the wing big enough? That's my little dude. Yeah. Um, he told me he was going to help out the with the wiring. What are you going to do with those wires? And uh, check out the steering Can wheel. I think he approved. Me? But unfortunately, Please. he decided it was time Please to take a nap this. before uh, he got done with the wiring. Either way, we continued with our patches. And uh, as you can see, we sanded it down basically to where our patches were flush. And then I did a final top coat with some basic normal old school Bondo, which you can get a really thin coat as a final sand, final feathering, where we came down to eventually about a 400 grit. And we got everything smoothed out cracks repaired and started laying on black primer. Um, this was after we laid our primer. You can see it's still drying a little bit and we had a couple areas that we still needed to, to do repair work on. And as it got later, we did our final repairs. 
and that's where we kind of got to so stay tuned follow KMR and uh, we'll have this radical new wing and car set up at you soon